Reese here with Adore Her Beauty, back with another video, and I already am diving in. You know I don't waste no time. We jumping right in with the first strip, and I am using one of my favorite brands, Tumerica Horror Wax by Easy Cosmetics. I just have to put it in because people are going to ask me anyway, and I'm not gatekeeping, but I'm also not promoting their brand because they are not... I'm not an ambassador for their brand, but it's just ultimately it's a good brand. It's worth mentioning Okay, so if you have a license and you're a new esthetician or you're looking to try something different reach out to East Cosmetics Tell them that I sent you they know who I am or whatever. But anyway, so we're doing cheek We're doing chin. We're doing lip with this wax Also, if you continue to watch all the way through to the end You will see that I am going to be using three different type of waxes, right? Two different formulations, three different formulations. Actually, two are hard wax. One is a soft wax. And the soft wax is removed in a very unorthodox manner. If you want to see how that is, you got to keep on watching. And I promise you, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, she the goat. Oh my gosh, she is the greatest of them all because she removed that with what? Huh? You know what I'm saying? So the esthetician community might come for my neck. But it ain't like I ain't never been in that position before because remember when they was telling us that we shouldn't be waxing beards? Remember they said that? Remember they was like, you need to refer your client to uh, electrologist. You need to refer your client to endocrinologist. You need to refer your client to a laser technician. We ain't touching that. I advise you not to touch that. And now we got hirsutism waxing popping off all on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Everybody is a hirsutism wax specialist now. But y'all know I'm the original. You know I am the original. Put that in the comments. Reese is the original. And there's no shade to nobody because I am so happy that we are having this conversation now. I'm so happy that we are spreading awareness about hirsutism and PCOS because for some, it's one and the same. Not everybody though. Not just because you see somebody with facial hair does not mean they have PCOS. And if this is your first time watching and you have made it this far, PCOS stands for Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, which means that that person may have cysts on their ovaries. And it can also mean, like it's an and or situation, their hormone levels are imbalanced where they're producing more testosterone than estrogen, which is causing their adrenal glands and stuff is all fluctuated. And it's causing like acne, it's causing pigmentation, it's causing excessive hair growth. Okay, so welcome. You just learned something new. Ha ha ha. I'm glad you're here and I'm definitely glad you made it this far. So remember, they were telling us not to do this. They was were telling they were telling us to refer these people out. They need some help. But everybody can't get laser. Everybody can't do electrolysis, whether they can't physically or financially. You know what I'm saying? So waxing is the way to go for a lot of people. And a lot of people have done both and still result to waxing. Because why? If it's a hormonal issue, something that's happening internally, unless you do change things internally. You know, by seeing an endocrinologist or doing things a natural way, you're paying all of this money for these services, and your body still is in disoriented. It still got the hormones out of whack, and so that's kind of like throwing money down a drain. At the same time, like people think, what you know, waxing is wasteful. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So. I use hard wax two different kinds. Here's the third one, right? Because look at those hairs on her sideburn. They're growing sideways. Like, it's growing that way. So, I had to figure out how I'm going to remove those little hairs. Because I had to come up with something. So, boom. Soft wax was the way to go. And I do it in small strips. Now, generally, I won't do soft wax after hard wax. Because hard wax already removed a couple layers. And soft wax can be really aggressive. But I just took my time with this. I made sure the layer was super thin. And I took my time removing it in small strips. And you can see that extra hair is coming up. And if you look at the shade of that wax, you can see dead skin cells on it as well. Now, what does it look like I'm removing the soft wax with? Take a good look at that. Look at that. What does that look like? Is it peeling? Is it muslin? I'm, Y'all. What is it, girl? What is it, guy? What is it? It's paper. <laughs> what? Yes. It is a sheet of paper. Why did it pop in my mind? I don't know. I'm 
I'm just that girl to just be like, you know what? I wonder if paper can do it. And oh my gosh, it did. Now, would I try this on somebody with some super aggressive hair? No, this is what's only in the instance of removing super fine hair. Don't try this on your client or yourself if you do not have the experience to do that. But I thought that was pretty dope. Like it was a piece of computer paper. <laughs> it was clean and it was sanitized. So don't come for me about that. Everything was clean and sanitized. Okay. But I was just like, I, I wonder if it'll work. And boom, it worked flawlessly. The paper didn't rip. It didn't tear. It didn't leave behind a residue. It was perfect. So, you know, in such instances, you can remove soft wax with paper but we didn't reach the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this leave me a comment below to let me know